Thank you, yes, these are I needed. I'm a soldier, even those rodents would have given me troll, but I can make healing cells from these. Maybe they may help this guy. You know, I had a dream the other night about stopping the war, returning home to Valete. Your familiar who was there, the dragon. Maybe you really are here to help us. Maybe I am. And if you need cells, talk to uh Psychus. He'll sell them to you. Thanks again. Hey, the nice. You look distracted. Hmm? I was just thinking about something Haristall said last night in bed. You share a bed with Haristall? Are you lovers? We have a loving relationship, yes. Haristall, anyway. It doesn't matter. She was angrily going on about how uh, the Lakemi stranded us here to be consumed by the bleakness. And all I can think is, well, Vleta did the same to them originally and banished them here to slowly die. That's why Alana was so mad, why there was, uh, there was war, but that will change now. Yeah, anyway. My party is just keeping everyone alive. Speaking of, I'm trying to brew up an old remedy that the Armory uses. I think it will help the young <laughs> help that young man. He keeps slipping into unconsciousness. But I don't have the mushrooms that, that we always used that we always used. The soldiers used to gather them from the mushroom towers in the caves. Could you find some find some for me? About two should do. Thank you. Oh, uh, watch out though. Harstall once told me there was some danger uh, they meant dangerous spores when disturbed. There's always a catch, huh? Oh. I already had the mushrooms. Okay. Shh, lie still. You're still very weak. Can you hear me? Can you inter can you understand me? Don't try to speak. Your throat is extremely raw. The bleakness has hit you hard. Thank you, Linnaeus. I think you'll survive. Ramada? Oh, uh, hi, Linnaeus. I'm glad you stopped by. I've been, think I've been thinking. If I can ease the bleakness a bit, even temporarily, it might help me treat some of the underlying health issues that are... making it so bad for this man. He's not getting much better. In the cave we first came when we first came through the portal, I remember seeing some plasma crystals. I'm not sure how effective they'll be for, med for medicinal purposes compared to real plasma, but it's worth a shot. And you want me to get one for you? If you would, it's too dangerous for me to. Yeah, I got it. No problem. Is this a crystal you need? Yes, thank you. Let's hope it let's hope it helps. While you were gone, I slept and drank, and I was back in Vlade before the war. I saw the Emperor. Remember Volterellus uh, rise, rise to power with his powerful magics. I saw they took anyone with magical gifts to raise in their cloistered castles and how they treated those who had no magic, like second-class citizens. And all the Valetian Emperor's enemies gathered up and forced, uh, and forced through the portal to this world, and the war, the things they've done. And being here, now seeing what the bleakness can do... And? It was just a dream. I don't know. I guess I, I guess I can just understand why the Lakemi are so angry, willing to fight back. Their actions may be wrong, but I can't say Vlade has mm, Vlides have been any better. Maybe I could talk to Harstel about it. Sure. Alright. What's up?
What's that? There he is. I gotta kill what eight of these? Send back, turn this quest in, and then I guess I'll try to figure out where the hell progression is. Managed to kill some of the sirens. You weren't kidding about their beauty. Excellent. With that done, we can breathe easier. Now about the safety of my sol- I can breathe easier now about the safety of my soldiers. Not a ready to attack one. With so few men. And one, and one apparently very capable woman with an eyes. <laughs> oh, why are you going to do that? The portal of Vlade is closed, Harastel. There will, there will be no support from Vlade, and you're the only ones here. Is that a reason to give up on the justice against these traitors and usurpers? I've already defeated Queen Inalana. She's agreed to create a more peaceful kingdom here. And the worlds will separate. Isn't it time for peace? Yet they still hunt us. There are still soldiers and elders under the influence of demons. I will not give up this fight yet. I would have you defeat some of the Lakemi soldiers, thin their ranks, and let them know what the hell they can't simply get rid of us. Find their shield knights and archers. Strike back. Soldiers still looking for violence are a threat to everyone. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Emperor Volter and Torellus. I know I've only been an advisor to you for a couple of years, but I hope you will hear me out on this recent issue in the so-called independence of Lachem. Your instincts will be to lash out on retribution against the, against the Lachemi. After all, the prisoners get to declare independence from the jailers. Of course not. But that is all Halfilly is truly uh, holy doing. Making an empty statement. Independence means nothing within the walls of a prison. They may state, uh, they may state such, but they still remain on, they still remain on Lachem on Lakim while we control the only portal to and from it. The walls of the prison, if you will. Nonetheless, the population of Lakim has, has been growing, especially since your most recent security and justice decrees. While I don't believe the Lakim, Lakim to be a true threat, after, <laughs> true threat, after all, those, uh, those, few with, uh, those few with auras are weak on the world, given, <laughs> given enough in. Now, weak on that world, given enough impetus, impetus, they could organize an attempt to strike back against us. Any conflict, no matter how much in our favor, will result in some death, not to mention further unrest among our people. It is less recommendation that we allow the Lakimi to believe in their independence and not to strike back against this more.
20 knights and archers. Yikes. So what was the point of this slaughter? I'm gonna put the dragon back on. It's more useful. Also, Mef's cuter. Ranks have been thinned. I think they'll think twice about attacking your camp. We're alone in here. The Letty failed to take back the portal, and now we're stranded. I will not let this world defeat me. We'll be okay. Oh, what now? Well, nice. A moment? More things for me to kill? I don't like your tone. Still has been talking to me, trying to convince me that we shouldn't still be fighting this war. We should be soon. We have no support from the Empire. But I can't just let it go. Lakim stands opposed to everything I believe in, decrying our social order, using demons to take our portal, conspiring to destroy my home. Was Vladi much better? They banished the Lakimi here knowing about the bleakness. And from what I've heard, society back home wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Vlete was good to me. And I'm sure Lakim was is good to, to its leaders and officers, but I'm sure but I've seen what empires can do to these <laughs> and do to those they see beneath them. Can you really say Vlete has done no wrong? It's not mine to say whether whether to go to war. My job is to fight, uh, fight hide it when told. And when was the last time you received orders? It doesn't matter. If nothing else, the demons are evil creatures that feed on chaos. They must be they must be destroyed. I can certainly agree with that. We assault their greatest warriors and or, then weaken them. Take out eight of their so-called royal guards in the palace. Let's free this world out of their taint. Will do. Okay. Uh, is there, like, story stuff that... Okay, here we go. Hey, thought I'd give Ramada a break. He works so hard anyway. He work, works so hard. Anyway, looking after this guy isn't so bad. How's he doing? He's a fighter, I can tell. The bleakness in him hard, but he's not giving up. Sometimes I can... Uh, I can't believe Lydia would even send people here. Knowing what the, knowing the, knowing what the bleakness could do to them. No wonder the Lakimi rebelled. I don't blame them. Look at this. I never wanted to fight in a war, or, or it was just a job. Shoot, it's a good thing Harstel's not around. She'd take my hide. Treasonous talk like that. How about a subject change? Uh, we're running low on food again. I was thinking we need some more, some, something more substantial than bird legs. There's some wyverns in the cave. Last, last time I was down there, the territorial beast, but they got some meat on them. Think you can take them? Hey, how are you feeling? <laughs> He's a brave one, he is. Barely alive and still fighting. What's that? Something to write with? A 
Shavar Feather. Siren Zinc. Yeah, for a pen, sure. Oh, you got the Wyvern Tails? Fabulous. You hear that? One, one strength throwing feast coming right up. I've been thinking, thinking about what you found out about Valete. That it would have been destroyed? Yes, if Valete's gone, the Lakemi continued living here for a thousand years. They must have cured the bleakness, right? Otherwise, how would they have survived? Uh, I guess so. And if they've cured it, you could find out how, and then we could finally do something about it. Sure, now I'll do what I can do. I'll see what I can. It probably won't just be there in the, be in the library, but maybe the facility where I found the time spinner will have records. Nice. Did you find anything? It looks like they developed some treatments now. I brought back everything I could find. Maybe you can help. But they never cured it. Over the years, it just got less and less deadly, I guess. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry. Well, it's not your fault. Did you, you did everything you could, and I'm sure these notes will be extremely useful. Thank you. Maybe we can help some people. It occurred to me, the symptoms that are... <sighs> the symptoms are all about longing, quick tempers, and things. Maybe that's what makes Lucky... <laughs> lucky like him so aggressive. They never got over the bleakness. I suppose that would make sense. Maybe maybe it's not, their, not really their fault. They were stranded here, after all. They still made a choice, Nell, but maybe it was, it was an understandable one. Ha! 
supposed to kill? Second, I thought that wall might be breakable.
I've never been so long without, a, without orders. I can lead a unit, but I can never have to make big, bigger decisions. I know what you mean. I thought my clan would always be there to help me to, and tell me what to do. And then when they weren't, I need to, I need, I knew I needed to take, take action, but maybe action without reason. This isn't as simple as it should as it should be, the nice. I just never came down here.
what the hell. Where the fuck am I supposed to get this feather from?
God damn it. It's just typical. Laboratory. Do you think it will work? We're talking about time travel here. Of course it won't work. Genza seems so sure. So sure he sent one of, one of his volunteers through, and we, <laughs> did we ever hear from them again? Well, he thinks it's almost done now. Let's just hope we're not the next volunteers.
music in this place is intense. WREC Farewell. The WREC program, War Robots of Extinct Creatures, is finally being phased out. After a successful run of over three decades, including one transplanetary war, we have decided to discard all unused units. All, uh, all unused units. A part of me will miss Wreck, as, uh, as its usage of long, uh, of long since dead animals was, uh, as inspiration for each new model was always quite endearing to me. It was as if the designers were uttering a quiet apology for eradicating the animal's entire species, whether that extinction was intentional or not. <laughs> Nevertheless, the new technology that we are receiving from our mysterious ally is undoubtedly far superior to any units from the REC program, be it in speed or cost, uh, us to simple lethality. Despite these new and exciting advances in science, a part of me will always miss <laughs> the quaint little creatures from the REC line. Flushy Oculus that slices through unwitting foes. Do I really? Subject exhibited, exhibited an ex advanced growth rate, as well as the addition of new psychic abilities, despite the subject's parent, eh, parents being completely void of any talent. Although my colleagues consider this experiment to be a failure, we have, got, we have yet to achieve our true goal. I believe it at least eases a step in the right direction. This will serve as a springboard for my next experiment. As a side note, some of my colleagues appear to be squeamish about the links we are, go <laughs> we are going for the this research. I do not blame them. The process of splicing unknown organic material into the embryo of a Windarian commoner it's quite a leap for most modern scientific te techniques. I know I do evil, but I posit that reaching further, faster, is ultimately our, our ethical imperative. Scientific advancement beyond Amadeus' designs will allow us to move beyond dependency on the demons. We will be you will bring order to the Empire. <laughs> is that not uh, the true Lakemi way? Yeah. 
now. Map downloaded. Okay. Ow! Biotechnology. The new line of biotechnology war machines is proving to be quite effective. I would have never never imagined juxtaposing simple metallic automata. Uh, oh, God. Automata with literal bio biologic organs. I'm surprised by the practicality of using enormous organic eyes as an ocular source for robot uh, for robots enhanced as they are, of course, an intentional side effect of uh, uh, the design as they are, are so unsettling. The individual who spearheaded this new technology, Amadeus, is somewhat of an enigma to me. He claims to be he from Surfland, and I claim that and I find that claim preposterous, considering the primitive level of scientific advancement on that planet. My skepticism is not shared with the new, new emperor, however. At least he doesn't seem to care. Perhaps I will attempt to reverse engineer Amadeus' biotech creations. It may it may be that I will find my own answers there. strong psychic aura possessed by the biomechanic and enigma monstrosities Amadeus has helped us design. I, I know now, I, I now know why. Between my reverse engineering and some further research into history, of all things, I can only conclude that Amadeus is a psychic being himself, a demon. To use the, use, uh, to use the crude par <laughs> parlance. There's no doubt that his techniques, uh, techniques will be of benefit to Luckium. They've already proven deadly. But there's a reason for, reason for the fear their designs engender. He and his kin, for I believe <laughs> there are more of them, feed on the hatred, disgust, and chaos that follows them. It aids Lockheed for now, but continued reliance on them will not do. Lockheed is built on order, on count, on control. We cannot have such chaos following us everywhere. We must find a way to rid us of these so-called allies.
Telekinesis to glide through the, and glide across the ground. Looks like it's full of old historical documents from the War of the Sisters. Nothing seems that useful, though. As a result of my last few experiments, I decided to try splicing the Bautech DNA into the, that of a grown Lachemian nobleman. Monsters, yes, but our Emperor has given me leeway to my, in my work. He appears to be very happy with my ability to make political opponents disappear. A fortunate side effect, I suppose. The effects of the splicing on the subject occurred very quickly, but not without apparent physical discomfort on the subject's part. The final beneficial results are a rapid growth of the body size, the size and strength, much faster than any of the, the run-of-the-mill DNA enhancements which are so popular among the wealthy, as well as the market improvement in magical ability. However, the negative side effects are <laughs> of the procedure, such as skin slothing off and regular re restructuring the muscles, have made the procedure unfit for any practical applications. The results of the experiment have se seemed consistent with demonic designs. I have seen e this sort of monstrosity before. I'm not, yet free of their in I'm not yet free of their influence. Perhaps we, will we must move beyond their biotech designs altogether. I will do whatever it takes. I will have a <laughs> I'll have to meditate on this. Lunaeus, yes? Welcome to my lab laboratory. You must begin to the one behind Lockheed's sick experiments. My repetition precedes me. I'm behind all, I'm behind all of Lockheed's accomplishment. All, all Lockheed has accomplished. I'm fairly sure Queen Alana uh, uh, gets, uh, gets some of the credit. Huh, a weakling and a coward. Going back on her loyalties on her, uh, on her deals, trying to rid us of the demons that she summoned. 
Unsuccessfully, I might add. What do you mean? Well, you poor naive girl. They never went away, not really. They, ins they ensured Lachium's rise in power. Even as they for <laughs> fomented chaos in our realm. And I won't have that. Order must be absolute. Science will replace their, absol their obsolete powers, and, and then Lachium will be free in a, in a way a Alana could never accomplish. But that's neither here nor there. You're the time messenger from the back uh, from the backwards wind area. It's a pleasure to meet you. Like what I've done with the place? I finally got it working. No thanks to you. Thanks to you. And I'm trying. Uh, I've been try uh, trying. Tying into an experimental portal you constructed, one that can teleport us anywhere. But with the two combined, we'll be unstoppable. You can't use that. You haven't been trained. Huh, I've trained all. Uh, I've trained. Uh, I've trained all my life. The sacrifice, uh, the sacrifice you'd make. Do you do you know how it works? How it erases you from history? A pity, yes, but a small price to pay. I've already sacrificed my humanity to make Lockheed strong. Let my morals slip for the good of the nation. Good, hardly. What do you know of good and sacrifice anyway? You never, you never seen true power. Not like you could achieve. I sacrificed everything to come here to stop a hot dubious. Oh, of course, your mother. What? Oh, Lanias, have you missed me? What trick is this? No trick, I love you. But you left me. What? Abandoned me to Nuvius, to, my, uh, to death, my own daughter, after all I'd sacrificed. No, that's not... You failed me. No, that's not you! strong. And you're a bastard. <coughs> Says a girl with no with no father. Uh, but that's not true, is it? What do you mean? You must know you never uh, we never cured the bleakness, and even even once we rec reconquered Valette and gained access to their plasma, we would never ever be the same. A longing in our people, leading us to explore the stars, quick to anger, quick to uh, hick to melancholy, these are the legacies of that sickness. <coughs> And the Lakemi blue hair, of course. Sound familiar? You must realize by now. <coughs> the same man you want dead, our glorious Emperor Nuvius, is your father. I suppose that makes sense. I don't care, I have no love for him. He attacked my clan and killed my mother. He will die. <coughs> Very well. Just do me one favor. Why would I? Don't let my work have gone to waste. When you take the throne uh, on as the rightful heir, rid us of the demons once and for all.
I'm going to go somewhere else. Got a little carried away trying to kill the little things. Safe one right here, I'm stupid. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. So neurotoxin apparently drains my energy. Like drains it like a son of a bitch for that matter.
okay. Fire definitely seems to work on it. did not go as well. Case kind of kicking my ass. It's one of the one of the tuning gears. That's why I went, went back so far. I wasn't attached. You're supposed to use three of these to calibrate how far back this, the time spinner goes. Well, too late now. Nice, if you find all three, you could tune it properly. So? You could do what you meant to, do, uh, meant to at the start and go to a different time. 
I could go back heck before Nui's ever found Wendaria. I could actually save them. Heck, with the gears, I could go anywhere. I just need the other two. Easier said than done. If I can't find them, I can still I can still kill Nuvius. Okay. Another tuning gear from the time spider. You changed sound a lot, Lunais. It's my job. It's my duty. I can kill Nuvius. Uh, I can kill Nuvius now, thanks to the changes I've made. Everything you do changes the timeline, changes the future. You've seen the effect of it. Yes, lock him here. Uh, lock him here has changed. It's grown weaker in these statu in those statues and things. All the changes are good. You can achieve your goal. You can stop. I know, you, uh, I know that. Or you can't stop. I know that. But there are forces in the universe besides you humans. Like the demons and like you, right? Just be careful. Some of them don't like when, the, <laughs> when you change things. A lot is sacrificed. Our dream, <laughs> dreams are, in, are, getting, are getting full. What's that mean? Whatever. Shama. Wait. Oh, that's before. It didn't save me killing the boss. Son of a bitch. I suppose that's my fault.
Come on. Fucking stupid spider things. that imitates the standard issue Empire handgun.
An opportunity to have more control. I can do what I wouldn't really set out to and change history. Save my plan. Well, we're working on it. Alright, this is, uh... This is the castle keep. I can't go on like this. One time message after another. Mm, I say, I, I say, the elders sitting around me. I've joined, I've joined the circle now. Clan, mo Clan Mother Undar nods. The Lakemi have increased their patrols in recent years. You're right, Selene. Or, Selen. We can't do this forever. They will find the time spinner. One of her wives, one of her wives, Thea, crosses her arms. We can't, hit, we can't give up. We need a new plan, I say. We can't risk using the time spinner now. With Linnaeus, we only have we only have a few messengers left. We can't train them fast enough. What we need is a new kind a new kind of time messenger. What do you have in mind? Our traditions have always been for the time messenger to only come back as far as necessary to keep the clan safe, so as not to distort history too much. We have no idea if the time if time can withstand more than a small amount of change at a time, Thea says. I nod. But we, have, but we must take a chance. I propose we train one time message to go back further. To go into the past, prevent Lakemi from ever learning about the time center if we can. Do something, we, uh, do something that we can uh, do something that will keep them from ever being a problem. That's a huge change, Thea said. We'll completely change our history. We don't even know if we will, ex we will still exist. But it must be done, I say. The time spinner is all that matters. And who would you propose this new time be, be this new time messenger? Undar says, but she already knows my answer with the glint of, from the glint in my eye. Okay.
How do you know? Oh, please, it's if I'm bound by silly things like time and causality. Like your little dream dragon there. Those those things aren't exactly a problem. Oh, whatever. She'd figure it out eventually. Figure what? Want to see my collection? I kind of want to buy the shiny rock, just for the fuck of it. Fuck it. I'm not entirely sure what to do next, aside from go after the Emperor. Try and find one guy is fucking. I suppose I have never explored down here. Hmm, Ryan's poison. Okay. Oh, that would have been super helpful a little while ago. Okay, 
Okay, the gun orbs suck. I'm not even sure where I'm going at this point. I'm just kind of looking around. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing at this point. Well, I suppose we'll go ahead and stop it for not for now. If the next area is the last one we got, this might be done next week. I missed yesterday's stream because I'm still trying to figure out what I want from uh, to be my new Monday game since I finished Final Fantasy VII. I'm leaning on Nier Automata, but I'm still not sure. Even if I did, I need to... I fork all the PC versions unstable. I need to get a fan patch to make it function properly. Or at least make it more stable, anyway. Either way. Hope y'all are having fun, and I will see y'all later. Take care.